And joining us to discuss the platform for hyperautomation is our chief product officer, Param Kalon. Welcome, hey, Param. Param. Hi, Mary. Congratulations hey. Hi, Mary. on the release. Thank Good you very much. You. Good to see you again, Diego. Good seeing you. So, Param, we'll jump right into it. We're going to cover a robot for every person in the automation cloud later in the program. So I'd like to focus on the, uh, the platform for hyperautomation with you. And just for starters, could you explain you know, why is it called the platform for hyperautomation? What is hyperautomation? Why do we call it that? And what does it do? Yeah, Mary. Great question. So recently, Gartner coined the term hyperautomation to describe how RPA and other adjacent technologies such as AI, process mining, business process management are coming together to enable a more powerful and, and, and rapid approach to automation. Um, we also unveiled a very similar vision last year, expanding our platform to harness these complementary technologies. Um, so delivering a, a, a solution that enables our customers to automate the entire life cycle from discovery to measurement and everything in between. Um, so it's all focused on both enabling our customers to automate more and to do it very quickly. That's it's simply what we term as hyper automation. Awesome. So Param, let, let's talk a little bit about discovery. You mentioned that um, just, just now. How, what, is, what do we mean by that? Why is that important? How are we helping customers do discovery? Can you expand on that, please? Yeah, sure. So, uh, Diego, discovery is a major focus for this release, and it comes uh, in working directly with our customers. It's a big theme from our customers. Um, they are trying to find out how, to, how they can get the most return on their automation investment. So last year, we introduced the Automation Hub, which enables crowdsourcing of automation ideas and bringing employees into the automation journey. It was a great first step, and we've taken lots of feedback and made it even better. But now we've also added a scientific database discovery with process and task mining in this release. Um, process mining uses the actual business data in your applications, such as back office systems like SAP and Oracle or CRM systems like Salesforce, to map your processes and recommend high impact automations. Task mining takes a slightly different approach and looks at the work of teams across their desktops, including unstructured tools like Office to make automation recommendations. So together, both process mining and task mining give you a complete view of the processes across both the systems and people to help inform and make decisions around what you can automate. Let's take a quick look at the demo of, of task mining. Awesome. Yeah. Process mining creates a view of your business process from all the existing data in your line of business applications, things like SAP and Salesforce. Here I am viewing an HR process that pays employee relocation costs. As you can see, on the surface, it looks like a very simple linear process with only a few steps. However, life is never that simple. And luckily, process mining gives me the ability to see all variations of this process that have occurred. We also understand which variations happen most frequently. To use a driving analogy, we are able to see the well-traveled freeway versus the roads less traveled. This insight helps me understand the best parts of a process to automate first to maximize my return. It even allows me to see the impacts of my changes as I deploy those automations by comparing processes over time. Process mining is a great tool, but not all work happens in backend systems. To get the full picture, I need insights into the work people do on their desktops. The work they do in applications like Word and Excel, for example. That is where task mining comes in. It allows me to discover automation opportunities by capturing and analyzing the tasks people work on every day. Importantly, it includes all the right capabilities to do this centrally, securely, and with the right governance. Here I am viewing processes that have been automatically identified based on merely observing the work of my entire HR department over time. They have been scored and prioritized for ease of automation. 
I can view the details behind any of these processes, including the actual captured screenshots. When I am ready, I can export any of these into Studio as a process template to speed my development. In just a few minutes, that gives you a sense of scientific process discovery and how process mining and task mining work together to help you identify the biggest bang for your automation buck. That's terrific. It's really clear how, how we can help customers identify their highest return automations. Um, Diego talked at the top of the show about automating more. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely, Mary. So customers are looking to automate now more advanced processes and move beyond the, the low hanging fruit. Um, in the early days of uh, RPA, it was all about simple, high volume, repetitive, rules-based processes. But now with our technology, we're broadening the scope of the platform so you can automate any kind of process that has been uh, you know, available in the enterprise. And that's what we focused from, from a product roadmap perspective. So the two key areas of investment here we're making in this release are one, we're making robots smarter with AI so they can deal with more unstructured information, make more decisions, and we're enabling robots and humans to easily collaborate. Pram, that makes sense. Can, what are some of the products there that we're bringing to market around AI and collaboration in this release? Yeah, so uh, let me talk about two two specific products uh, that we're you know we're releasing in, as part of this release. The first one's document understanding solution. Um, this allows you to teach your robots to read and understand a variety of documents. It could be structured documents like tax forms and passports and driver licenses. It could be semi-structured documents like invoices and receipts. It could be unstructured documents like emails or contracts. What we provide is a unified framework-based approach to deal with a full spectrum of documents. Now, what we also launched is the Action Center that allows people to collaborate with robots as they are going through the automation process. So people can jump in and handle exceptions, validations, do approvals. Um, let me give you a concrete example and, and, and see how that works. So let's say a robot runs an automation that reads a handwritten form captured at the loading dock to update inventory into the system. Now, occasionally the robot has to deal with bad handwriting like mine. Uh, and it's not 100% sure it read it correctly. So it needs a human to validate that it, it got the handwriting accurately. So what happens at that point in time is robot suspends the execution and sends a task through Action Center to a human um, while the robot continues to work on other things. Now, once the exception is handled by human and human validates, the robot's able to resume from the previous state and finish the task, but also take the learnings as part of that feedback loop and get better at making you know, more extractions next time. So that's about like document understanding and action center that helps collaboration between humans and robots using machine learning to extract information from documents. The second part of that uh, 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 the story is AI fabrics. And we see customers need uh, specialized AI skills um, that are you know, built by their data science team and they want to give it to the robots so that robots can act on, on those skills and also get smarter over time. So for example, one of our early customers built an automation that identified high risk pregnancies to ensure that the expected mothers were getting the right level of additional care on a timely basis. They made a robot smarter with in-house medical diagnostic skills that's able to extract information from various different systems and be able to predict whether this is going to be high risk or not. Now, that took a manual process that took sometimes four to five weeks and narrowed it down to five minutes, delivering you know, really, really good value in, in the care business. Um, so these skills can be built by in-house data science teams, um, can be sourced from partners, but are now available to UiPath robots to be able to use in, in the scope of automation. So, okay, so you have document understanding, which is a, a, a robot skill that's provided by UiPath. So it's a new product that's coming out today. It's, it's, it's built by us and everyone could get it from, from us. And then you have AI Fabric to bring your own robot skills to the robot. Give your own, you have robot skills from your own ML models, your own AI capabilities. So it's both UiPath provided and your own, you could bring your own using those, using UI, AI fabric, right? That's right, Diego.